guys, it's Riles and back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this fabulous Friday. Thank God this week is over with. Um, today my video is about being an empath. How do you know when you're being an empath? Um, I know a lot of people that I have talked to on different pages uh, have said, you know, I, I can't go out in public. Sometimes I want to go outside and ride my bike or go skating, but my anxiety is always high and I can't deal with a large group of people. Well, maybe you might be an empath. Um, if you, there are stages of, of things or characteristics. Uh, have you seen things when you were little that you couldn't explain? Um, people would see things, you would see things that other people can't see. Um, I used to do that a lot. There's just certain places, like when I was little and we lived in Germany, I used to love going to all the different castles because I like Dracula and stuff like that. But I, there was just certain places you could not get me to go. You, there's just things that I would see in certain places or I would see things that, uh, that probably went on back in the day and I just really couldn't understand it. Or I would just get a feeling. Um, like, oh, okay, I'll go here, but I won't go this way. And my parents always used to like, <laughs> what's wrong with her? Well, at least my dad was. So, but my mom, you know, she was like very superstitious. So she was just like, I think my baby's probably gifted. So, um, and other things, uh, you, you probably had imaginary friends. Um, I used to be, since I was the only child growing up, I had two older siblings, but they were way older than me from my mom's previous marriage. So I was the baby of the family. So I was always by myself. So I always used to talk and play by myself all the time. And it was just, um, I was always alone. I, um, and it was just, I always felt like I didn't fit in. And that's another thing. Do you always feel like you don't fit in places? It's just no matter if you want to be with your friends or sometimes you, you just like you break your plans. Um, and it, it's just, I get like that a lot. Like my, some of my friends will ask me, hey, let's go out to the bar. Or they have this white, you know, all night, all white, all night party or something like that. Let's go. And it's just... I'll be all gun haul to go, and when it comes time to get ready to go, I'll flake out. Like, I, you know, last time I went out to somewhere, I uh, really didn't feel right. It was like, I don't know if it was just because it was a Masonic Lodge and it, just different things that was going on there. So that's just a whole different other story. But I just, I could, I just really felt uneasy about the whole situation. So um, I couldn't really go deal with a lot of places with dealing with a lot of people because you're dealing with so many different emotions. Um, so when you're an empath, you also, you pick up on other people's energy as well as you're dealing with your own. And that's a lot to deal with. You know, some people think that find the spiritual world or the spiritual realm um, very interesting and stuff like that. They always, uh, they always seem to be inquisitive about that situation. So I'm just like, wow, you know, that's just something that you really don't want to do because there's sometimes when you're picking up on other people's emotions, you can also pick up on their past and that's really not a good thing. Um, because it just feels like there's certain parts of people's lives you really don't want to deal with. Um, and uh, let me see what other things you have to deal with that I had to deal with. I'm trying to see. Um, dealing with other people's emotions. You also have anxiety and depression. You suffer from that a lot sometimes. Um, and people don't really realize what they're going through unless you do the research. Look at the videos. You know, read up on it. Google it. Because that's what I had to do. Finding out all these different things. Um, and then it's just when you start researching about it, uh, 420, thank you. Um, when you're researching and doing all your, um, your reading about it, you find a lot of things that you, that you thought about yourself was probably crazy. And you probably went to the doctor and they probably put you on medication for being bipolar or manic depressive or, you know, um, anything that has something to do with the mental problem, uh, mental psychic or whatever. Um, so that's another thing that you have to probably deal with. But just research, go look it up and see what's going on, you know. And maybe you're not crazy, you know, if you've been to the doctor and the thing's still not working, just go ahead and research it. You never know. But that was just my little quick 
who you know about me, uh, saying if you are an empath. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Peace, love, and light. Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Contact me, and I will talk to you later. Peace and love. Peace and be wild.